went really well to be honest with you. Yeah. Like loads of people were like, wow, it seems to have like stepped up, but we've been coming here for years. You more so. I've been here like probably 13 years in a row, missed a couple here and there, but yeah, we've been coming either got myself years. in or broke myself in, I've been here somehow somehow. Yeah. But yeah, I think we kinda of stepped up today and it felt really good. Really good. Yeah, we feel tiny again now. Like things were getting really you know, obviously everything's been building up really well the past couple of years and all that stuff and then you jump on road running and it just puts things into perspective a little bit but it's great to have that infrastructure and we wanna push our music out there to yeah, more than we can handle. Fleetwood Mac. Decent. Um, <laughs> we wanted to push our music out there to like more people and um, the Roadrunner thing is just the perfect fit. It's like two puzzle pieces together and the guys at the label we we love them and like we get on with them and it's just it's just the right fit so it's all going great. What can we say? Like Humbling. two massive bands, so to be even mentioned in the same breath, like, can't even describe how good it feels, but we've got a lot of work to do. Those guys have been doing it for a long time, so you know, we'll just try our best. Let's see, see how it goes. The first Slipknot record was the first record that I listened to when I was like getting into heavy music. I was like 11 years old. And you turn it over at the back and you see some Roadrunner Records on it. And I was like, one day, like if I sign to Roadrunner Records, somehow if I have a band, I was like, that's going to be fucking amazing. And that is not one of those bullshit stories that people just make up. That is in fact. That's literally what we thought. So, and now it's happened. So, it's all come full circle. Exactly, man. It kind of like it, it, it just knocks you down and just makes you feel like a normal person again. It makes you think, fuck. Now we've got this opportunity. Am I allowed to say swears? We've got this opportunity now, and like, there's the next things that's going to be coming around. So, like, you know, we're, we're feeling great about it. It was the best thing we've ever done as a band. It was like amazing. It was quite, uh, it was like this. Uh, it's hard to even really put into words, to be honest, because it was so, we were so involved and like, it was just so intensely passionate and creative. And it was, the process was, was just beautiful, to be honest with you. We were making this music, and like, when we started to wade into it a bit more, we started to, we, you started to feel fuck, like, we're creating something that's like more than us as a band, more than just us for the music. Guy who produced it just came totally into line with the way that we think, the way we feel about our music. Like we love our music, we respect amazing music. That's like we're slaves to great music. So we just wanted to create something that's great, do as much as we possibly could. And um, the album's just amazing. We're so so happy with the way it turned out. And uh, I think it was, it was a just beautiful process. So much fun to be in the studio for that long. You know, four mates just playing music, being creative, playing around with stuff. Yeah. Like having the privilege just to do that for that long for all of us yeah. was like an experience that was it was like the first time for everybody. It's just awesome. We had a great time. With it. it was really really great. It was uh, kind of yeah, just everything culminated in that moment. Like the months before it was stressful, trying to like you know join the ends on things on the album and make things work. But we got in there, and my brother we did a. We did something with a uh, dude from our label, spoke about the album a little bit, and uh, my, Oliver, the, our singer, put it into perfect. He said, because it was so creative and so intense, he said, you create something in the spur of the moment that you have to pay your dues writing music for months and months and months to like stumble on that moment. So we, it was really, really good, really cool. Straight away, Pink easy. Floyd, yeah, immediate Pink, Pink Floyd. Yeah. We probably have someone like Pink Floyd, uh, like at the moment, where we're at the moment, would be like Soundgarden, Deftones, Deftones, Nirvana. I know it's not possible, but if we could, we'd have a hologram of the main man. Like crazy weird bands, like yeah, Don Caballero, like on the build, just playing yeah. like small stage and still fucking ripping the shit out of it. Yeah, we're into all sorts of yeah. like really, really cool, like bigger bands, and then like we're just listening to like weird, obscure stuff, so. Uh, did I say Soundgarden, Nirvana, yeah. uh, Jeff 
fuck me, I know that's not possible. As well. Yeah, Tool would be a fucking cool band. Anything with like weird meanderings is how we do it. But uh, probably Pink Floyd top of the bill, definitely. Uh, the Beatles. The Beatles. Gotta have them there. Okay, alright, so one day, oh, alright, Sunday would be the Beatles, yeah. Saturday would be Pink Floyd, and Friday Stone we'd have Radio. Yeah, yeah, we'd have Queen. That's it. Yeah, but you have to head on we have that. Alright, oh, so we'd be Friday, then it would be Pink Floyd, then it would be the Beatles. 